Hello everyone, my name is Rosa Dilar. In this video, we are going to integrate the demo application of Huawei in-app purchase in React Native Platform. We need to prepare the development environment before starting to run the demo application, so make sure your both React Native and Android Studio environments are ready. Lastly, make sure HMS Core APK is installed whether in your phone or in your emulator. My environments are already set up, so I will skip this section. Before running the iApp kit, we must register as a Huawei developer. Then to have the AG Connect services file, we need to create our app in Huawei console. Then we will generate a KStore file. Finally, we will enable in-app purchase service in AG Connect. These are too many, but unfortunately, these are must. Let's switch to the Huawei console and create our demo app. I will click new app, then name my awesome iApp demo app. App category will be app and default language will be English and I will save it. I will also give a little introduction, then save again. I'm not going to prepare the app for production. I only need to AG connect services.json file, but sure when we are going to put it in production, we'll need to fill the mandatory parts too. Next, we will generate a signing certificate fingerprint. I will create case store and put the Sharkey in AG Connect services file. Then I will enable the in-app purchase service from the My Projects Manage APIs. Okay, let's give package name to the AG Connect services. AG Connect services will read the package name from my apps build Gradle file. So my apps package name must be the same one that I will write here. You see, if you will change your package name later or um, you mistakenly give a different package name here, the uh, Android Studio will give an error in the compile time. So uh, maybe it will be hard from the catching it from the React Native side. But always, even if you change your package name, you must come back here and uh, update the package name here again. Let's download the React Native via plugin. I'll select React Native and click here. I downloaded before, but I'll download again in desktop. Here, React Native IAP plugin folder, Android folder is the main location of the RN IAP plugin. So all the bridges are written here. The example folder is where our demo app is. Let's switch to terminal, go to where example folder is, then run npm install. Let's open Android Studio. I'll select React Native IAP plugin, example, and Android file. So here is my demo app's Android part. I need to add the same package name that I provided to AG Connect services. I will copy package name and pass to build Gradle. Okay, now I need to create a case store file and obtain the SHA fingerprint, then put it in AG Connect configuration file. Here under Studio, YAL says that it couldn't find the React Native HMS IAP plugin. It's because we haven't added it yet. We will just after creating case store. I will create the case store from Android Studio by creating a signed APK. I'll give the same path location with app build Gradle. The K password will be 123456 and the allies is K. Others will be Huawei. Of course, if this app would be in production, I would have added a better K password and allies name. You see in React Native development environment, while building an app, you rely on Metro server, but this app is already written. So I'll directly create a Relays APK and later I'll put it, the Relays APK to my device. Okay, here is my K file. I'll edit the signing configs K file, password, allies, and K password, and let's sync. Okay, here is my SHA K. I'll copy it and put it in AG Connect console. Let's download the AG Connect JSON file and put it in example Android app. Let's check the locations. Great, the location is same as described in documentation. Now the third part will integrate the RNI app plugin into the map. RNI app plugin must be under the examples node modules. I'll open the app folder, then go to node modules and create the React Native HMS IAP folder and pass the Android file, package JSON and index.js into React Native HMS IAP in example node modules. Okay, you see here in settings Gradle, there is this state tells to Android Studio, I have a React Native HMS plugin and the location is under my node modules. So when the Android Studio complains about can't configure the React Native HMS plugin, it simply means that our library is not where we said it was. Here, after the build is successful, we can see HMS IAP module. This is the part that the bridge is declared for RN side. 
Here in the documentation, it says you must add Huawei AG Connect dependencies in your build Gradle file. Well, if I would create an app from scratch, I should have been stick to the documentation and add these states in my build Gradle file, but in the demo app, all of them are configured, so I can skip all this. Before running the demo application, we should create products for in-app purchase. Let's open the Visual Studio. Add folder to workspace, React Native HMSI app, example. Here is where the React Native codes are, I'll say add. You see here is a source folder where the available products, the purchased products and purchase record list for three use cases were written. There are consumable, non-consumable and subscription product types. Let's see the globals file. Here are product info data and here SKU IDs. These are the product IDs that must be added to the app in Huawei console. Let's add them all. I'll open the app gallery connect, then I'll select operate and add product. I'll start with consumables, copy the same consumable ID, product name and description. And I'll click save. I'll also need to add the price. Okay, now I'll quickly add all the consumables and be back. Okay, I added the consumables. I'll continue from non-consumables. The same things goes for the non-consumables too. Now I'll add the subscription products. I'll add two subscription products to the same group so user can only buy one of them since both of the products belong to the same group. By the way, for best practice, since users can only buy one subscription within a group at a time, creating a single group is the best practice for most apps as it prevents users from accidentally purchasing multiple subscriptions. Okay, now my products are ready. I will date all the products so that I can see them in demo application. Here, let's put the Relays APK into the device and see our products. I have enabled sandbox testing and played a bit around the demo app. You can see all the call examples from the documentation. I will also put in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you in another video.